Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my lapidary channel. This is Brent and uh, what I have today to cut is a blue sapphire. It's more of a, gr it's a blue green actually, but this is more bluer than what I've been cutting mostly lately I should say. It's still got some blue green. It's got green in it, so I'll, it's a blue green sapphire. I'll call it. This is an Australian sapphire. And I'll make a round brilliant out of it and uh, hopefully it'll turn out pretty good. Our dopping is complete and we're ready to put this gemstone and dop into the machine. Using a 600 lap, and I'm cutting the pavilion mains at 42 degrees. That's what we look like so far. I've already cut the girdle at 90 and I faceted the girdle. Okay, I've cut all of the uh, brake fat main facets. I'm all cut. Still cutting with the 600. I just finished polishing the girdle facets and I've also finished polishing the pavilion main and brake facets. So I'm finished with the uh, pavilion of this stone. I use the bat tin lap with 60,000 diamond and uh, it cut very nicely and polished very nicely. I've got a new lap I want to show you and this is a uh, it's made by gear loose well it was these are no longer available anymore it's got a copper outer band and a, a tin inner band. So you would charge the outer band with say three to eight thousand grit diamond. I'm going to use eight thousand on the outer and fifty thousand or sixty thousand on the, the inner. So I can pre polish, clean my stone, and go right to final polish and not have to change. The setting, the angle setting, or the height setting, or anything like that. So this makes this will speed up gem cutting when you do use one of these. Yeah. 
Okay, I've pre-polished the brake facets. He's not having any problem uh, with the lap or the stone. It's all working well. Sometimes you'll have uh, the directional hardness when you're cutting sapphire. One facet will cut um, much slower than the rest. Or you can have a soft facet that cuts much softer than the rest and you can overcut very quickly and then have to go back and correct every, all the other facets. But this is all uniform hardness on this Australian sapphire. Cut all of my star facets and polished them. I'm now ready to cut the table. I've got my 45 degree table adapter in. I've got it set flat to the disc. This is a 3000 disc, which is very fine, so it's good and flat, no bumps. Uh, always check your cheater adjustment that it's zeroed out when you do this. 45 degrees, so I'm ready to insert the dop and start cutting it. This is final polishing with 60,000 diamond grit compound. I'm using the in inner band of this uh, bat lap, which is a uh, tin lap. 